one funny anecdote about when we were at the, I think it was called Hyundai Hyundai Beach Hyundai Beach, not the car. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Did they sponsor the beach? Yeah, no, it's it spelled slightly differently, but I man, if they tell have you the some of those dune buggies, I, I have no idea. I don't know the brand that well. If they have those, that'd be a sick sponsorship. That will be pretty sick. But yeah. they did not. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, um, continue. Yeah, it, it was just a it was a pretty touristy beach because Busan, so that's where it's a big beach tourist area. Yeah. But on this beach, we got there about ten thirty. Yeah. The entire time we were there, we saw this old, like maybe like sixty something lady. Yeah. Just walking around the beach and just yelling that she's selling chicken and beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's just carrying a garbage bag full of chicken and beer. And sure. she's like, she's like dressed normally and like has like, you know, she, she looks pretty normal except for that she's going around selling chicken and beer from a garbage bag. So okay. <laughs> we weren't immediately like, we weren't alarmed or anything, but we're like, wow, that's unusual. And so she was there the whole time we were there. And at one point, maybe like two in the afternoon, yeah, she put the, the garbage bag of chicken and beer underneath um my uncle's chair and walked away for a bit and talked to one of the looked like a unofficial at the beach okay and then like 10 15 minutes later came back and got it and we're like oh, that's pretty weird <laughs> why'd she do that and then uh, after that she walked around for a little longer peddling her chicken and beer okay <laughs> and uh you know don't think she got any takers so she uh she just sat down and started eating other food that she <laughs> brought for herself. Uh, and okay. my, my aunt felt bad. So she told my uncle, like, hey, go and buy the chicken and beer. Yeah. Because I feel bad that she hasn't sold any because she's old. And so he, it was, like a, it was like a box of chicken, like a large KFC box, like a shoe box worth. Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A large shoe box worth of fried chicken. Okay. And so he bought it. And she's like, oh, it's 30,000 won. And he's like, I mean, we're buying this out of, he didn't say this, but he's like, well, we're buying this out of charity, so sure. <laughs> um, he didn't say that, obviously, but he was just like, all right. Okay, so he handed yeah. it 30,000 won, brought the chicken back. Yeah. This chicken that had been in a garbage bag from 1030 in the morning, probably longer, probably significantly longer. <laughs> okay. And just brought it back to, to our chairs and whatever and opens it to look at it. And it's like, well, that looks all right. And then my mom, who, if you don't know her, which everybody but Aiden listening wouldn't she is uh very food safety conscious yeah she she does not mess around with her raw meat yeah nothing like that if something's been in the fridge for too long she's like get it out of here we're not eating it it's gone bad you'll get sick uh she's super sketch about street food and stuff it's a good attitude to have it's healthy yeah yeah but she just goes over to the chicken is like hey, that looks all right and picks up and sniffs it and it's like that smells all right and she starts eating <laughs> And we're okay. like, and we're like, wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> we're like, that that could be three days old. We don't even we don't know where that came from. Maybe it came from a dumpster. And she's like, nah, it is fine. It's pretty salty, so it's probably fine. <laughs> and then my uncle is like, yeah, okay, and he eats a piece too. Okay. And then one of my cousins and my sister also eat a piece just because they see the, they see that. And uh, my aunt myself my father and my two cousins do not partake because we don't want to die <laughs> fair yeah that's a of, good call <laughs> of beach chicken but then uh she came back to thank us after we bought it like maybe half an hour later yeah um it was in rushed korean okay. not rushed korean but like she was speaking very quickly yeah yeah uh so my aunt could only really understand all of it <laughs> what what she was saying was um thanks for buying it Cause you give me 30, she didn't say, but like, cause you give me $30 yeah. for a box of chicken. Um, and she's like, the reason I had to put it under your chair there was, uh, because the police were coming by and they've already given me warnings for s selling chicken here <laughs> for like paddling chicken without any sort of permit or anything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they want me to stop. So I had to make sure that I, they saw I didn't have any, so I couldn't get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. No, that's and pretty so she's typical. Like, Just thanks. Yeah, so we were we were basically an, an accomplice in illegally sold chicken on the beach in uh, in Busan. Yeah, that's and yeah, that's interesting. Okay, apparently it was good. They actually didn't get sick. 
that is impressive. I, guess I was, was absolutely shocked that they didn't get sick, but they didn't get sick. Weird. A street vendor actually selling a decent product. Not a street vendor, a or, beach vendor <laughs> out of a yeah, garbage that's even bag. Worse. Like I f- heavily with street food, but yeah. I'm not messing with illegal street food. Not messing with that beach feels like food. something you shouldn't be eating. Yeah, no, no, that's not. That's a bad idea. I don't know why she was doing that. We read a uh, we read a review of the beach. Yeah, and it said it. This was like a five five years ago. Yeah, this thing we read about the beach, and it was like a great beach. The only downside was this woman just yelling chicken and beer what? <laughs> the whole time I was there. Five years ago. Yeah. And and then they say, I don't know who the hell would buy that chicken <laughs> out of a garbage bag. And I'm like, I agree. I don't know who the hell would either. But I, I, I do know who did. If she's like, still there five years later, people must buy it every now and then. I know, but I didn't see enough. anybody buy it at all except for my uncle. So somehow that's managed to be a sustainable business model. There's, I was saying, there's got to be any, literally any other job has got to make you more money than that. Look, what? man, it's it's not always about the money. It's whatever it's makes about, you happy deep down inside. It's about passion. <laughs> it's about the passion for selling yeah. beer and chicken out of a garbage bag on a beach oh. in Korea. Yeah. In Busan. Yeah. That's, that's probably yeah, that's probably why she does it every day. Almost definitely. Because there's yeah. absolutely no other reason. If it was like Thailand, I'd be like, Yeah, all right. Like, sure. Like there's not, not much like social assistance, whatever. Maybe that's just like you just come by free fried chicken somehow and so you that's just how you do it. Yeah. But, like, fair enough. This is a pretty developed country, so I'm like you you you've got some kinds of other means. Cause she was like putting in a lot of work she was marching up and down the beach for like six hours i'm like Jesus. that's a determined yeah. person i know and i'm like you, you could do six hours of work and make a lot more than 30 dollars yeah yeah you could you could so maybe some I days are, some days are better she sells more beer and chicken maybe 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 someday she sells like one every hour and she's making 30 dollars an hour maybe yeah i don't know yeah but for 30 dollars too <laughs> Like, there's shops, like, two blocks away. You could get fried chicken if you wanted to. <laughs> like, it's literally... The only thing you're paying for is the convenience of having it right there. So, if you're if you're listening, person, mm-hmm. like, just, like, contact us through the, through the podcast or something. I just want to know why, why you're doing this. <laughs> yeah, it's so convenient. It's, like, basically Uber Eats, but for that one spot and just one food and drink. Yeah, like you seem like a perfectly rational human being. I'm just, I'm just curious why you're doing this. Like you seem like you got it together, but I don't know what's going on. 